fans are ready to revisit the magical world of Descendants yet again, but they might be surprised with some major shakeups in the cast. Disney has recently announced the official title of Descendants 4 with a video that contains all the new cast members. But apart from this announcement, no one expected Disney to come back with Descendants 4, not even the stars of the first three movies. It's mainly because they couldn't imagine their stories going forward without Cameron Boyce, who played Carlos in the first three movies. But when Descendants 3 was about to be released, Cameron lost his life, and it turned out to be the biggest shock for the whole cast of the movie and for the fans. They were all heartbroken because everyone in the cast was so close, especially with Cameron. So going forward with another movie just didn't seem fair to them because they would never imagine doing it without Cameron. Working with Cameron, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like working with um, your family or like a really close friend. Dove Cameron was really devastated after Cameron Boyce and she even honored her friend with a eulogy. My dear, dear friend and brother, <laughs> you leave behind a colossal wake, a profound chasm that can this might be the reason why the lead of the first three movies won't be coming back. When an interviewer asked her about it, she said, I'm going to say no, because I don't think it would be the same without the original cast. She also said at once, what happened was so incredibly heart-wrenching for all of us and something we could not recover from. So Cameron's sudden demise has shaken up the cast of Descendants to the very core, and they really weren't expecting Disney to move forward with Descendants 4. But guess what? They just did, and some of the fans aren't happy about it either. Dove Cameron also thinks that making a second movie isn't going to be ethically right. As she said, I think that the idea of making another movie, while it would be nostalgic for all of us and while it would be healing in a lot of ways, it might also be super wrong. And as Dove thinks that making a movie after Cameron is wrong, there's a chance that she won't be part of it. Not only this, but Sophia Carson playing Evie, the daughter of the evil queen, won't be coming back to the new movie either. She said in an interview, You know, it's tough to imagine the world of Descendants without Cam for me. Um, anything is possible because it's such a beloved franchise, but it just, it wouldn't be the same. So it surely looks like Cameron's passing had a very deep impact on everyone in the cast, and they really can't imagine being in the movie without him. And without all the major leads in the show, the producers obviously have to recast, and they've made some very right choices for the new cast. For instance, Cinderella and Prince Charming. Both are in the new Descendants movie, and they're being played by the two most iconic actors. Brandy Norwood will be reprising her role as Cinderella after nearly two decades of playing it in her original Cinderella movie. According to reports, Descendants 4 will feature a Cinderella that's warm and loving, but also a little diplomatic because she obviously has to look after her kingdom. Brandy is going to be just the right fit for the role. Another personnel change that might be unexpected is the addition of Rita Ora to the cast of Descendants 4. She's going to play the Queen of Hearts. It'll be really exciting to see how innocent-looking Rita could give a life to a queen that's known for being iron-fisted and brutal at times. The role of the Queen of Hearts will be a really important one because she'll be the ruler of Wonderland and the mother of Red, who will be portrayed by Kylie Cantrell. Red isn't a typical heroine, and she's more of a grey character who needs some character development to show her real potential. Her character seems similar to Audrey, played by Sarah Jeffrey in the original movies. Red is very stubborn, rebellious, and above all, damaged. She has tried to get her mother's approval all her life, but she never really got it. So now she does everything in her power to somehow annoy and provoke her mother and cause trouble for her. So it surely looks like Red won't let any opportunity of taking over Wonderland go by, and we're most likely to see a very interesting character arc for Red, as she'll have to be cooperative with others during her mission to save Auradon, and it's surely not going to be easy for her. But Red isn't going to be the only lead in Descendants 4, because Chloe, played by Malia Baker, will also accompany her. Now, Chloe is the complete opposite of Red. She's the daughter of Prince Charming and Cinderella, so she has never really gone through a lot of pain or trauma. Plus, she doesn't really know how cruel the world could be outside her own castle. So when she'll meet Red and fight the evil, she'll realize that she was living in her own little bubble. Another thing about Chloe is that she's really smart and active, but at the same time, she's also very naive and sees the good in literally everyone. So meeting Red will be a huge eye-opener for her. We'll see how Red saves Chloe on multiple occasions and teaches her some important life lessons. And after all of this, Chloe might actually come out as a rough and tough woman, a lot like Red. There's also a chance that Red and Chloe might become best friends by the end, and Red's 
sacrifices something really close to her just so she could see Chloe happy and safe again. However, not everyone from the original cast has bid farewell to the Descendants franchise, because there's someone who is actually coming back. Yep, you guessed it right, it's China Ann McLean, and she'll again be playing the daughter of Ursula. But it's still unclear if Uma has the same savage character in the new movie too, or if she'll now be a little laid back. But this is not it, because another new addition might shock you. Did you know that Uma has an aunt? Well, it's Olyana, the younger sister of Ursula, and she might not be the nicest person to be around. Olyana enjoys hurting and annoying people, and she actually has eight tentacles and her bunch of lackeys who do the work for her. Dara Renee will be the one playing Olyana, and she might team up with Uma and make Red and Chloe's lives miserable. But Olyana isn't going to be the real threat, because if the past is any indication, she'll also go through a major character development and suddenly become all good and loving. And if you thought the characters are only going to be old, then you might be mistaken, as the creators have also cast the younger versions of the Queen of Hearts, Cinderella, Maleficent, and Prince Charming. We'll also get to see Zelly, the daughter of Rapunzel, played by Sam Morellis. Zelly is a kind of hipster teen with her hair growing faster than her intelligence. In addition, Joshua Colley will be playing Hook, and he'll be Oyana's mate. Hook is really arrogant and rich, and that's why he has a lot of free time to hatch pointless plots against other people. Lastly, the iconic character of Fairy Godmother will be played by Melanie Paxson. She'll be the wise and calm headmistress of Auradon Prep, and she'll also be trying to keep the kids out of trouble in the new movie. Descendants 4 will have a massive cast, mainly because the plot of the movie is really tricky, and they need all the characters at just the right place. The new Descendants movie will include time travel, where Red and Chloe will meet the younger versions of their parents and everyone else and take their help to stop the destruction about to fall on Auradon. Red and Chloe will also have to face some pretty serious threats to their own safety, and the only way to come out safe out of all of this will be to stand by each other's side and not let this situation get the better of them. They'll be using the White Rabbit's pocket watch to go back in time because there's a looming threat to Auradon that could only be stopped if they prevent an event in the past from happening. It will be really exciting to see Red and Chloe fight the demons of the past. Some fans also believe that Red and Chloe will most likely be stuck in the past and they'll need all the help possible to get back to the present. If they stay in the past for longer, things will start falling apart in Auradon as it will be completely against nature, and Red and Chloe will have to rush through their mission if they want to get back home successfully. As far as the plot of the new movie is concerned, it seems like the creators are discovering a whole new world, and the stories of the original Descendants won't be continued. So, a cameo from any of the OG cast will just be an easter egg if it happens otherwise. The creators already have everything planned. According to posts from the cast members, production of the movie has already begun. The cast are seen performing stunts, so it's obvious that the production of Descendants 4 is going really strong. But it will be at least a year until we finally are able to see the movie. The creators still haven't announced a release date for the movie itself, but according to reports, Descendants 4 could be released anywhere between January 2024 to July 2024. Fans of the Descendants franchise can't wait to see their favourite characters back on screen, with some iconic new additions. So, who are you most excited to see in Descendants 4? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.